the largest oil refinery on the East Coast. Oh! <laughs> yeah, that's right, that's right. So, I'll tell you a little bit of background about this refinery, but we're actually going to have a line of speakers to kick the mobilization off, and they're going to be telling us about the refinery from a lot of different angles. So, one other thing to know about the refinery is that it releases about 75% of toxic air emissions from stationary sources in Philadelphia. So, it is responsible for the majority of air pollution our city has, which has caused a quarter of children in Philadelphia to suffer from asthma. So the people of the city literally cannot breathe because of the profits Philadelphia Energy Solution makes every day. They operate 365 days a year, um, making money, polluting our city. Um, and Trina is going to tell us a little bit about what we're here to do today. Yeah, yeah, awesome. We take turns with holding it up. How's our... Awesome. Yeah, how's the volume out there? Could we step? Could we take a couple steps forward? A couple good steps forward. Yes. Come on, guys. You are welcome That's, here. Yes, that is beautiful. Yes. Yes. All right, all right. How's the sound in the back? Someone in the back, let me know how it is. It's a little low. How about now? All right, all right, all right. Okay, now Trina's going to tell us a little bit about what we're doing here today. Yes. Well, guys, uh, uh, Alexis has explained to us refinery background and the fact that we are against expansion plans here uh, at the refinery. So we are here with all these sunflowers, which are symbolic of us planting the roots of resistance. Uh, sunflowers are known to have a certain detoxification in the roots. So this is symbolic of our roots of resistance to say we are against excuse us, we are against oil and refinery expansion and fossil fuel polluting the area in Philadelphia. What do you say about that, guys? Yeah. Great, great. PES is poisoning us, and we won't take it anymore. PES is poisoning us, and we won't take it. They won't. And the whole sky had turned orange. Everything had turned orange. And I think that's when people started getting, having cancer or started having breathing problems. Like five years later after that, I started having asthma. Back then, I started having, having asthma. And y'all can tell y'all story to Evelyn. You can tell your story, Evelyn. Hi, my name is Daniel Fry. In about 19, as she said, about 1998, things started getting worse. Just we finally came over and showed us grabs and everything told us that boom was sticking underneath the ground. They drilled all these holes. Animals were dying. Uh, 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 people who were born with asthma, even my child, exactly. Turn around, they put us off the property telling us this. Now they didn't rebuild homes right there. They didn't rebuild after they put us off. Now they got a, a bomb train going by, which is an army uh, underneath where the train go under. Now, it ain't going to be satisfied until this whole thing blow up. We lived here when that stack went out. We had number one stud, right? One day, the kids robbed the train, took a took a rocket off of it. They didn't even warn us. They just came in gray suits and picked it up. 
This is the kind of stuff. This is what money will do. They're not concerned about anything about money, and they'll tell you what you want to hear so they can do what they want to do. These people got more money. This is the reason why we couldn't fight them. They got scientists, analysts, and everything backing up their story. We don't have that proof to say that it's not. So here we go. Money against non-money. Who you think gonna win? Water well, backing up, you know, backing up, charge the stool and all like that, you know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. My name is Ray Lewis. I am a retired Philadelphia police captain, and I've been involved in activism since the Occupy movement in Zuccotti Park in New York City in 2011. I've traveled across the country in all different types of uh, injustices, from uh, illegal making marijuana legal, uh, gay rights, against GMOs, against fracking, oil, uh, against mass incarceration of young black males. You name it, if there's an injustice, I'll be there, especially police abuse. Now, the reason I'm here today is to show solidarity with each and every one of these people, to let them know a former law enforcement officer, a captain, says you're right, everything you say. But I don't want the media to portray these people as just old, tired hippies. No, it's not the case. And what people, one thing people don't know here today, right now as we speak, the city is allowing these refineries to break the pollution regulations. In other words, these refineries are not obeying the limits of pollution. So they're fine. Every day they're paying a fine, but it's cost effective. It's cost effective for these, this industry to pay fines every single day, then repair or renovate these refineries. And that's our government who we elect and we pay their salaries, we pay their holiday time, we pay their sick time, we pay their vacation, we pay their health care. We, those are the people, our elected representatives, are supposed to protect us. But they're allowing these refineries to exceed the pollution regulations, all because the industry is paying fines. The fines should be of such magnitude that they put the, these uh, oil refineries out of business. If you can have pollution and you pay for it, what you're doing is you have a right to kill people if you pay enough money. That's outrageous. Thank you.
It's not only our right, it's our life. trying to make us, uh, well, worse than what we already are. I, I, I really don't care what, about why, well, I don't care if, if whatever it takes to get rid of their stupid incorporated factories and stuff like that, those stupid refineries, I hate them all. <laughs> President Lady needs clean air to breathe. Yes! Yeah. 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 Her mom's a midwife and she said pregnant women need clean air to breathe. Oh, okay. Hi, um, I'm here with the Philadelphia Coalition for Real Justice. Um, we are standing together with this because we're clear that environmental racism is another form of racism. Um, the city has committed many atrocities against black and low income communities, including gentrification, and they use these same uh, um, neighborhoods that they gentrified in order to make them the neighborhoods that they traffic this gas through. And we're clear that that is not an accident. None of what's happening is an accident. They know exactly what they're doing. Yeah. And so in order for them to understand that we know what they're doing and we're not stupid, then we need to stand up and continue to raise hell about all of this that's going on.
Yeah. 